Hi guys, this is Farah Karimai and you are watching Bollywood Hangama. Well, it's it's wonderful to have a beautiful uh, Farah Karimi with us here in uh, San Francisco, USA, and this is the first time that she is here in in USA, and she's she, she's a part of World Film Festival. Uh, Farah, a pleasure having you on Bollywood Hangama. Thank you so much for having me, Farilun. It's an honor. In fact, uh, as I told you earlier, that I really wanted to speak to you um, immediately post uh, Tera Surur Part Two, but uh, somehow. Uh, we, we couldn't do it, but it's wonderful that that we're finally meeting in uh, in, in USA. So, uh, how's been your experience so far in, in USA? This is the first time that 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 you've been here. It's been actually wonderful. Yes, it's my first uh, experience in the US, and uh, it's been wonderful to see uh, artists from all around the world here um, performing. Um, meeting them personally, it's been it's been an amazing experience. <laughs> All right, and uh, when you meet, uh, say, say people from from within within India, within uh, and who are who are the stationed in USA, for example, like we are having people like Mr. Vino and uh, Prabhaji and and so many others, uh, and you you see the sort of love that they have for, for India. What does that uh, tell you about India? Because uh, you are someone who's who's been born uh, in in Netherlands, and uh, now uh, India is your karam bhumi, as, as 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 we say. So, what do you have to say about such people? Uh, it's wonderful to meet them because I feel I feel the same. For me, India is like my home and I'm actually kind of homesick right now so I, it's wonderful to meet them and, and it's, it's lovely to see how much they're doing for the community, for the Indian community here uh, being outside of India and uh, it's heart uh, touching actually, okay. they're wonderful people. Great, now uh, Farah if, if, if you talk about your, uh, your movie Tera Suru Part 2, uh, somehow we couldn't see much of you uh, during the release uh, of, of the movie and even even post that uh, but you've got good reviews for the movie and uh, the, the movie has done reasonably well as far as the box office is concerned uh, are you happy with, with with your debut in india i'm so happy with my debut in india it's been it's been a wonderful experience working with such a wonderful team uh, such a creative team and uh, i couldn't ask for anything better uh, they've presented me in an amazing uh, way uh, I've been working with uh, um, such a talented people, uh, Himesh sir, uh, my director Sean, um, so many amazing people. I couldn't actually ask for anything better. Now, many people, you know, as I mentioned to you that uh, uh, we, we saw you in the movie, we saw you in the promos and it was wonderful. You have an extremely, I think, uh, glamorous appeal and at the same time very, very innocent appeal as well. But uh, when we see you now uh, in person, uh, there's a different perception about you altogether like that that you have like a, a very fine sense of humor and uh, uh, she's a big foodie and uh, she can eat I think almost anything uh, as far as uh, in terms of uh, like I, I wouldn't go into details but she's a foodie it doesn't it doesn't show uh, so tell us something more about yourself as a person that you feel that people who who've, who've liked your work so far would like to know about you I think it's important for people to know that I'm I'm trying to be myself, even in my work. Uh, obviously, when you're playing different characters, it's still like you can put a put something of you in it. And um, even in the industry, I'm just trying to be uh, stay true to myself as much as possible. Uh, as you said, I love food. <laughs> I'm a real foodie. We were even discussing about it. Right. And. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm in love with India. I'm in love with the culture, and uh, I'm just enjoying the process of being in the industry. And that's my whole point. I just want to have fun with it, and be happy with what I do. And that's the main thing for me: stay true to myself and my values, and that's it basically. Yeah. And do what I love, <laughs> follow right. my passion. Great. For I, when we when we saw you in the movie, you have a, I think a, a very nice uh, screen presence. And um, apart from the fact that uh, you also have a, a very glamorous appeal to yourself as well. Now, how do you look at, at, at yourself in terms of the, the way we, uh, the industry must be bracketing? Because industry has a way of bracketing people that uh, uh, this actor and actress, they are good for this and we can have more glamorous roles from them and, and, and something of that sort. So is it something that is happening with you as well? Uh, what is the process like when the, when the movie has released? Um. Yes, obviously, you know, like it's, I think, a human nature when uh, you see somebody for the first time and you have a certain perception of them and you 
tend to categorize, then it's it's quite normal. But um, as I think you have seen, I'm quite chilled out, and I want to do um, I want to do variety of of roles. I I'm I'm glamorous, but I'm 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 so much more. I, I want to do a lot of variety. I, I would love to actually do one comedy movie. Okay. Yes, I would love to do that. <laughs>